Alright, this video is going to show how to graph a minimum wage or price floor. So we begin with our standard supply and demand graph. But this is a little different because it's a labor market. So the demand here is with respect to firms demanding labor. And the supply is us. We're willing to supply la uh, labor in exchange for a wage. So this price could also be marked as a wage. Now the way a minimum wage works is the government steps in and says you cannot pay someone lower than the minimum wage. So in essence it's a price floor, meaning you cannot have a price under that amount. And there are three different outcomes. We could have a minimum wage above the equilibrium wage, and in that case firms would only demand this much labor while people would be willing to supply this much and that would end up with a shortage or a surplus rather in the market because quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. We could also have a minimum wage that goes right through the equilibrium and in that case nothing changes in the market because the market wants that to be the wage and the minimum wage is set to that. We could also have a minimum wage below the equilibrium wage and the same thing would happen. The market would go to this equilibrium because the minimum wage is non-binding. Let's go back to the first scenario where we have the surplus. Here this is the actual amount of labor that's going to be demanded in the market even though this much is supplied so we have a surplus that's also equal to our unemployment